We brought you stories this week about vaccinators having to cancel appointments because they expected to get more doses from the state. Mercy Health in Janesville says it did not receive any doses this week, and UW Health says it had to reschedule thousands of appointments because they did not have enough. New at 6, AJ Bayadpour has you covered on the changes starting this week that DHS officials hope will prevent future cancellations. Earlier this week, UW Health canceled more than 2,000 vaccination appointments, Mercy Health more than 600, all because they got far less vaccine than they expected. It's a situation where they just assumed they would get whatever they got last week. We have to caution our vaccinators to be sure they're not making those assumptions. SSM Health Pharmacy Director Mo Carbot says they had to scale down first dose appointments to take care of everyone scheduled for a second dose. We realize that we will not have enough for a large number of first doses. Uh, thankfully, we, we did have enough uh, for the appointments already scheduled, but we realized we won't have enough for more, so we had to close down the first dose schedules. State health officials say moving forward, they can now start giving vaccinators earlier notice. The good news is with a two to three week window that we've received from the federal government this week, we were able to ask our vaccinators about their needs for the next two weeks and we'll be able to let them know how much they're going to receive next week and the week after. I think that's an improvement. That's a step in the right direction. Uh, clearly, if we can know more about three or four weeks in advance, that will be even better. Um, but we'll take it for now. So two weeks at a time is better than planning one week at a time. Carbot says with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine now seeking approval, he hopes single-dose vaccines like that one will make planning easier for vaccinators.